Today I'm going to compare the $20 TP-Link N300 router to the $400 Apple Airport Extreme Time Capsule. Okay, this is a, a speed test with a MacBook Pro connected to the Apple Airport Extreme. I have a cable internet service by Comcast. I pay for 25 meg down and 5 meg up. All right, looks good. Let's see how it does on my iPhone. All right, this is a speed test with my iPhone 6 connected to the Airport Extreme. It's interesting that the the ping response is even better on the iPhone 6 than the MacBook Pro and the the uh, down speed seems to be a little bit better too. Okay, connected to the Apple Airport Extreme, you can see that I have a link speed of one gigabit per second. This is a speed test with the MacBook Pro Retina connected wirelessly to the TP-Link router. Surprisingly, the performance is just as good, if not slightly better, than the Airport Extreme. Okay, this is the iPhone 6 connected to the TP-Link router speed test. Uh, definitely a little bit more sluggish than the, than the airport for the phone here. The link speed with the MacBook Pro connected to the TP-Link router is significantly slower at 144 megabits per second. I've used the TP-Link N300 for about a week. Uh, I have to say for 20 bucks, it was a, it was a really awesome router. Um, now, when I started connecting more than two devices, it started to get sluggish. When I was just using my phone and my laptop, uh, it worked great. But once I brought the Apple TV into the picture and uh, two laptops and two phones, it started to get a little bit sluggish. Um, about once a day I'd have to reboot the thing because I couldn't get internet access at all um, or it would uh, show that it was connected um, in the, on the top of the phone but then when you would go into Wi-Fi uh, it wasn't it wasn't actually getting a connection so uh, rebooting it would take care of that uh, since I upgraded to the airport extreme I haven't had any issues I've never had to reboot uh, very simple plug-and-play device this has a setup wizard um, I don't know if maybe I could have manually set it up and avoided some of those complications, um, but I didn't really want to put the time and effort in. So if you're just going to have one or two devices, this, this might be a good option for you. Uh, when it works, it works well. When it doesn't, a reboot seems to get you back going. Um, uh, like I said, it's only 20 bucks, so if you can avoid paying that $10 a month to uh, Comcast to rent their their um, modem, uh, a wireless modem. You can just buy your own modem and then use this uh, router, pay 20 bucks and save yourself a lot of money in the long run. Uh, if you're gonna connect more than two devices, I would recommend uh, getting something more in the uh, 40 to $50 range. Um, but other than that, for what it is, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an excellent router for only 20 bucks.